So, dear masters, we will continue on soul plan. We were talking about soul plan. Rebirth planning, we talked about concept of contrast, contest, uh, you know, biasness, judgmental nature that we have, and how they are all related to our spiritual awakening. How does it work? So, as a soul, we, we select both the time period when we will be born and the experience that we will go through. We plan the challenges. And again, the purpose of selecting the challenge is not for suffering. It is for the spiritual growth. So the soul wants to go towards nirvana. We keep taking rebirth and keep working on certain human emotions that we work on. So that's why we go through different situations to experience certain emotion. As a human, we feel bad if we go through pain and suffering. And we feel good if it is a good thing, abundance, something goes what we want, like success, then we are happy. But for soul, it doesn't matter. It's an experience. We call it good, bad, happy, sad, but for soul, it's just an experience. And what it is, is that ultimately soul wants to move through different experiences, you know, just like a checklist. Yes, done, 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 and move, reach to nirvana. In this journey, the soul is trying to go away from ego-based consciousness and going towards heart-centered consciousness. So me, 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 you know, we get stuck with our ego, the body, the mind, my job, my family, my success, my wealth. It is all part of our ego. In the normal life, that's one thing, but idea going towards awakening, towards nirvana means you are, this is very shallow meaning. The real is who you are. So we have to look inside. That's why we do meditation, which gives you a true happiness, satisfaction of pleasure in life. You will enjoy your life. You will stay healthy if inside we are with us. Again, referring back to the session on quantum physics, we have seen that how your thoughts actually is the root cause for all the issues in life. We manage your, our thoughts. Pretty much we can say that you don't need to go and see a doctor in your life. You don't need to go to a hospital in your life. Why? That is the root cause. You will stay happy. Yes, you may have experience, which may not be good, like you know, sad or this, but you know how to deal with it. You know it is part of your life. So you will not feel bad. You will forgive people much easily. And when we say forgive, it's not just for others, for yourself as well. So as you are more and more aware of your soul, and by soul, we are bundle of energy. We say who we are, your divine essence. You will be coming in contact with your true self, which is your soul, what we call it. And you will realize that physical body, physical world is one thing, but this physical body, your personality is important, of course, but the real happiness you get from once you are in touch with your soul. So no more you will run around by wishes of your neighbor, your family members, your colleagues, you know, and all those things. You will be doing what you really like, what you really want. You will have this dimension and this realm, which is much more powerful than this just environment around us, the people and all those things, and you will do what it really means to you. We have to let go a lot of perceived ideas, like we talked about, you know, your false beliefs. Very easily we believe, oh, I cannot do this, I'm not good in this, I can't communicate good, I don't look good, I don't do this, I don't do that. And then we create issue for ourselves with those preconceived ideas or we put ourselves down low self-esteem and we lose the confidence. So awakening is an ongoing process. It's not a one-time deal. Gradually, you are moving, tuning your physical body towards that direction. And that's what it truly means. 
So we are in search of finding the purpose. When you feel purposeless, you feel that something is missing. You know, this purposelessness means you are really looking for something inside, means you have accepted that yes, you're looking for your soul, your true meaning. You're going beyond the physical. That means something is missing inside, not outside. So you're looking for your soul. Outside the environment is very easy. Oh, I want a new TV, new laptop, new phone, new car, new this, new. It will give you momentary pleasure, but the real happiness comes from inside. And that is what finding the purpose means. With the age, your purpose may change. When you're a kid, different purpose. You go to school, university, different purpose. You job, you know, whatever job you do, a business, or when you retire, different purpose. But for the soul, it does not change. Pre-birth planning guides you that, okay, this is what in this life you want to achieve. And this is for the whole life, not for a specific stage in your life. So when you're calling your soul, when you're looking for your soul, and you're interacting slowly and slowly, you start finding your own purpose. We'll talk about more in the next session, but most of the time people get stuck here. They think it will come instantly in one session or one moment or two, and you say, hey, nothing is happening, it doesn't work. You lose the faith, you lose, and not only you lose faith, but you start thinking negatively. And that is when you go away from this. So for your soul to come in contact or you to kind of, you know, start finding your purpose, many things have to happen. Like we talked about perceived ideas, false beliefs, emotional habits. You need to change. Some people are always over-analyzing, over-emotional. Some people may be full of anger. My colleague is like this or this. Some, they will blame the weather. They will blame the traffic. Always emotional. You say a little bit, they will start crying. Some people may have no emotion at all. Doesn't matter what happens, they will not have any emotion, which is also not right because as human, we should have compassion. You know, with each other, we should behave like humans. So there are different addictions. And it becomes second nature, so which becomes our habit, our personality. To overcome that, it takes time. It's not easy. When you make a sincere effort, continuous effort, yes, you can do it and you will find your purpose. So these addictions, like say fear, when the fear grows, it becomes worry. When the worry grows, now you are the whole day in anxiety and all kinds of depression. You have to find your purpose. That means no one can come and say, hey, your purpose is this. Or you say, oh, that person said my purpose is this. Or, oh, looks good. Sounds good. I should also do the same. No, every soul has different things to learn. Once the purpose is fulfilled, it should give you true happiness, divine feeling. You know, you should be like, feel like dancing. Otherwise, we get stuck with our day-to-day -day pain, suffering, worries. What will happen to my child? What will happen to my parents? What will happen with my colleagues? Or, you know, like we talk about traffic, weather and my life, whether I'll get this interview cleared or not, whether I will get this job or not, whether all those day-to-day -day things drag us. These are shallow items. Yes, important in life. But the true thing is you will enjoy every stage, whether you get a job or not. You can still enjoy life. And that's why you need to get in touch with yourself, true yourself, which is awakening. Spiritual awakening has nothing to do with religion. This is not a religious thing that, okay, this and that. No. This is in getting contact with yourself, which we say the soul. Otherwise, it's just a bundle of energy. So whether you're stuck in a wrong job, you feel life is meaningless, it's okay because first you have to experience meaninglessness for you to appreciate what it is that really means to you. Remember the contrast concept. That means the life then planning takes you to the contrast situation first. 
before it takes you to where you want to go. Because when you go through contrast, you appreciate more where you want to go or what is it that you really like, what your soul likes. So when you discover that, okay, you are not really happy, you're not synchronized with your soul, you're not really liking your old habits, this is when you say, okay, you have accepted the facts and start caring and going towards the core or you know, going towards your soul and you will start your spiritual awakening because accepting that you don't like, this is not you, you, you are discovering yourself first time. The negative experiences, what we call them, they are actually helping us. So don't feel bad that I'm going through the suffering, the pain, the bad situation, bad or tough phase of my life is going on. No, this phase is actually teaching you something that your soul has planned. So no one is forcing you. You planned, your soul planned before birth. Yes, as human being, it could be tough. Your colleagues are all negative. It's a tough situation. You cannot say, I will enjoy this. But if you understand that this is teaching you as a soul something, it will be easier for you to accept and move forward. Because the soul learns from the opposite. By understanding clearly what you do not want, it becomes easier to accept what do you want. And that's how this thing comes. Because remember, sometimes we feel if you get something out without any effort, sometimes we don't appreciate it enough. But if you're really working hard for something, then you get it, you really appreciate it. That's exactly the point here. So how to awaken? First, greater compassion and understanding. The one key feature, characteristic of universe, human being is compassion, oneness. They don't separate with each other. Universe or as a human being, we are intended to work with each other, love each other, have compassion. So be kind, not only to others, but yourself, because sometimes we put ourselves down more than anything else. The soul is like a baby. So just hug the child. Each one of us, we are an angel soul. We are just here to gain experience out of those emotions that we go through. Because the emotions comes only in the human form. That's why the soul keeps coming back, experience the emotion, and you move forward. If you can recognize this, your suffering will reduce, will elevate. Without self-judgment, without you know the biasness, all those things, your pain, whether emotional or physical, will be relieved. So it's very important that you recognize. Otherwise, you every day you are in the same suffering. So your awakening will start from self-love. And self-love means the way you are, the way you talk, the way you look, the way you act, the way you, you know, do your whatever, whether work, home. You don't have to copy anyone. You don't have to be pretending to be someone. No, the way you are. That is what takes you on the journey of this awakening. So, Masters, we will continue on this next session as well. But moving forward from what we talked about, soul plan or pre-birth planning, now this is getting us to the awakening. It will recap some of the things we did before and it will bring us to what exactly awakening is, how. And it will help you to go from theory to practical means in your life. Try to apply, try to see does it really work or not. And then the more questions you may ask, the more clearer it will become to you. So please feel free to share your experience ask your questions. You may want to, uh, I will just stop recording here.